Hi, Mr. Rabelais here with another homework helper for Perimeter and Area. Now there's a song that goes along with this, so go to the Songs tab and try to find the song about Perimeter and Area. It goes like this, the, uh, the refrain of the song goes, Perimeter will be on the ground, measuring all the way around. Area will multiply how long by how high. Let me show you how we bring the kids to that uh, strategy from a simple labeling strategy first. We start with a figure that looks something like this, and here's the strategy. Perimeter is measuring all the way around, so what we tell the kids to do is to do these little skip marks and measure each unit. Go to each unit, put a skip mark, and what do you think we're going to do next? We're going to continue labeling. Remember, label, label, label like my Aunt Mabel. Inside of each of these skips, we're going to number that skip one, skip two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, so it is eight units, and it doesn't really matter what unit, inches, miles, centimeters, millimeters, doesn't matter. It's the same strategy no matter what the unit is. Label those units on the inside, that way we don't get mixed up, because sometimes they'll come up with seven, sometimes they'll come up with nine, but if they do this and put the number inside of the little umbrella, there's no mixing it up. So we know that the perimeter is equal to eight, but we also have to figure out the area. Now we start the kids out, we're just counting the, block, the blocks on the inside and number them. One, two, three, four. And let me stop you right there. Parents, it's so important to have the kids do the numbering, to do the little skips. You and I don't need it. We think maybe it's senseless. It's a waste of time. Hurry up. Let's get your homework done kind of a thing. They've got to do it. They need that processing time. It slows them down just a little bit so that they can count it. They've got to touch it, see it, smell it in order to understand it. One, two, three, four, so area is four. In this particular problem, this figure has a perimeter of eight and an area of four. That's okay. Perimeter and area often don't match up. Sometimes they do. Let's take a look at another example. Now here's one that you're going to mark again. We're looking for perimeter. We're going to mark each of these units all the way around. Every time we get to the end of a unit, we do a little skip. And then, of course, we fill in the numbers. Three, four... Five, six, seven. I know it takes a little bit of time, but this is so important for the kids to physically do this. In fact, this may be the most important thing is to have them actually number all the way around this thing. They get, okay, 18 is my highest number, therefore the perimeter is 18. But what is the area going to be? We have to go and count all of the blocks. Again, we're going to have to number one, two, three, four, five, six. They may start to think, hey, this is an array of three by six, and that's exactly where we're going with this. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Again, the physical filling in of these boxes is so important for kids. Don't skip it. The area happens to be 18 also. So we've got a perimeter of 18 and an area of 18. We've done all of our physical labeling and skipping and numbering, but sometimes we're going to have a figure that doesn't have the nice neat little blocks that we can number. What we'll eventually do is bring the kids from the skipping and numbering to the next strategy, which is what the parents will recognize as perimeter and area. But parents, go back. Repeat this part of the video. Don't skip ahead to multiplying. The kids don't get it. Perimeter and area is very abstract. They've got to do the labeling and the numbering first. Once they have a firm foundation, then they can start coming here and saying, okay, five plus 10, uh, for perimeter is all the way around. 5 plus 10 plus 5 plus 10 is 30. I usually have them write that number sentence out. So I want to see 5 plus 10 plus 5 plus 10 equals 30. And that's how we get the perimeter. They've got to do that adding again. They've got to see it, touch it, smell it, slow them down. Don't teach too many shortcuts to your kids that you and I take for granted because we're years ahead of them and we have a uh, good critical abstract thinking skills and they do not. They're still very concrete, very kinetic. They want to touch and see and smell. The other thing is I teach the kids for area is to multiply how long by how high. So what I have them do is circle how long, how high, and put a multiplication sign in the corner. Then they can say 5 times 10 equals 50. Therefore the area equals 50. So in this particular example, the perimeter was 30 all the way around because we added all the way around. 
And then area, we multiply how long by how high. Again, don't skip the step of numbering. So important. I think we've made that point. Practice doing perimeter and area. Listen to the song. Perimeter will be on the ground, measuring all the way around. Area will multiply how long by how high. The song's kind of catchy. It helps the kids remember. Perimeter and area, homework helper, give it a try.